off of Her Majesty. Well, with other royal family members expected to attend, there's lots of royal news about. Let's talk to Rafe Hedelmanku for all the inside information. Good to see you, as always, Rafe. Um, it is, it is going to be quite a royal 11 days, isn't it? Yes, well, of course, the Commonwealth and the monarchy are intrinsically linked. The Commonwealth was a creation, of course, of uh, George VI and the Queen. Uh, she hasn't uh, op opened every Commonwealth game, so this isn't uh, the first time that she won't have been uh, present for the Commonwealth opening ceremony. But, uh, yes, uh, the 30,000 people in the newly refurbished Alexander Stadium will get the chance to see both the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall, as well as uh, Edward and Sophie, the Earl and Countess of Wessex, because... Uh, Edward is vice patron of the Commonwealth Games Federation. And then later on, during the 11 days, they'll be able to see on Tuesday uh, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, Prince William and Kate, uh, as well as Princess Anne, who, as of course, we know, very involved in the Olympics herself. And they'll be very keen for this to all go smoothly and the optics to play out right. Yes, absolutely. Well, this is a, an important event because, as we know, the royal family in the last year have had some difficulty with Commonwealth tours. Um, so it's very important that they strike the right note on, on this occasion. Uh, but, of course, the Commonwealth is expanding, so the Commonwealth is actually in rude health at the moment. But it's also a chance to celebrate uh, Birmingham. Uh, the wonderful statue of Queen Victoria out in, in Birmingham city centre has been decorated for the occasion. Uh, and it's a great chance, I think, for everyone to actually celebrate Britain's second royal city, which is Birmingham.